Great day, I'm sorry about that, but uh, for those of you who've been before, you're going to hear me talk again. For those of you who haven't, well, you know, welcome to the engine house at Ellen Road Mill, where in front of you you can see what is the largest steam driven mill engine still in existence. And we're doing the final preparation, so it just gives me a bit of time to give you a bit of history about the engine uh, before we run it. Now, the engine was originally built in 1892 as a four cylinder triple expansion engine. Uh, which had an output of 1800 horsepower and that sufficed until 1916 when unfortunately the mill burned down and because of the war effort they didn't decide to do much to it but in 1921 they rebuilt the mill and changed from mule spinning to ring spinning which required a lot more power so Clayton Goodfellas of Blackburn were commissioned to rebuild the engine to what you see today, which is what we call a twin tandem compound engine, and it has a power output of 3,000 horsepower. But for the uninitiated, what does a twin tandem compound engine do? Well, twin, your Victoria and Alexander, that's your twin. Your tandem, you've got a high pressure cylinder and a low pressure cylinder sharing the same piston rod. And compound, you use steam goes into the high pressure cylinder first, it then exhausts from the high pressure to the low pressure cylinder. Then from the low pressure cylinder goes to a condenser down below to create a vacuum so that we're effectively using steam three times and getting as maximum efficiency out of the minimum amount of what we've got going into it. Now this particular engine has got three types of valve gear on it. I'm not going to explain that uh, to you. Take time to watch it in operation. Uh, and then don't be frightened of asking any questions but steam engines realistically are very simple in operation you put steam in at one end of the cylinder it pushes the piston to the other you put steam in at the other end it pushes it back uh, but like I say the idea of the valve gear is to get the maximum uh, efficiency out of the minimum amount of steam input now the flywheel is 28 foot diameter and weighs 85 tons and it had 44 ropes on it powering four, five fours so there were more than one rope going to each floor. And that provided all the power that the mill required. And also, this mill complex wasn't connected to the outside electricity system until 1975. So this engine provided all the electrical power as well, apart from the little generator next door, which provided power for the uh, officers. So we are... They're all on. We're, we're, we're ready to turn it on now, so Joan gets the big spanner out, so we open the inlet valve manually, then turn the steam valve on, which allows steam into the cylinder, and unfortunately we don't just burst into life, we take a little bit of time to get going, because we're going to try to pull it been stood for a month, so any condensate that's in the cylinder end covers doesn't blow the cylinder end covers off. So, slowly it begins to build up speed. What is the outside of the main pressure gauge is two gauges, one vacuum gauge, which shows when the vacuum is filled up, once the vacuum is filled up, and then the main gauge is up to So it's away now, and it'll be running for half an hour, and then we'll restart it again at one of the platforms, and then from the two thirty to two four. So we'll start it two times. Don't be right to ask a question if you want to ask anybody can answer it. Ask a question. Ask how those work. What? The vacuum came up very quickly on that one, right? Yeah. I just, just turned around and thought, I think we're up to 20 vacuums. Yeah. Look at the weather. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the weather. Yeah. Look at the weather. Yeah. 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 Same 
speed, but they're both operating at different times. So, the, so these are all in these valves, which allow steam into the cylinder. Those at the bottom allow steam out of the cylinder. So the steam goes from in at these, out at those, out from those into the low pressure cylinders, and then it goes from the low pressure cylinder to a big cylinder underneath with a condenser. Thank you. 